Every two hours, someone in Europe dies waiting for an organ transplant. One of the main problems is that transplant organs only last four hours once they've been removed from a donor. So they need to get to the patient and be plumbed in fast. It's a problem faced by thousands of patients every year. So what if I told you that help may lie in an unexpected place with the toughest creature on the planet? can survive temperatures of over 100 degrees Celsius or well below freezing and live for years without water or light. I'm searching for nature's tough guy, a tardigrade. Well, this is harder than I thought. I need help from an expert tardigrade hunter in Japan. Of course, Japanese scientists, prehistoric monsters, Gotta be, it's like the perfect B movie. I'm gonna call Daiki Horikawa because with support from AXA, Daiki has dedicated his life to researching these incredible creatures to understand their amazing powers of survival. Professor Horikawa, how are you doing? No more, Greg. So look, I've spent quite a while looking for a tardigrade and no luck. Any tips? You are in the forest. Tardigrades are in the city. Oh, right, city. Great start, Greg. <laughs> Okay, Daiki, I am in the city. So where should I be looking? Now, go find some moss. Moss? Yes. You are in the perfect place for tiny rays. The picture I just sent you, that's what you are looking for. Oh, I see. That's what it looks like. But maybe, Greg, you should see them close up and personal. This has got a bit weird. Um, they are vegetarian, right? Yes, don't worry, Greg. I've shrunk you down to their size, about a millimeter long. And what is it about these ugly guys that makes them so potentially useful for saving lives? Well, our research group has found chemicals in the tardigrades. They are called cars and such proteins that possibly protect the animals in extreme conditions like desiccation. Right, so it's those proteins that make a tardigrade so tough. Yes, I want to know which chemicals besides cars and such proteins are responsible for protecting tardigrade cells, even when they lose up to 98% of body water. Daiki, this, this one's looking a little bit, a little bit frisky. Can you get me, get me out of here, mate? Come on. Sure thing, Greg. Thanks, Daiki. Tardigrades are incredible creatures. The way that they survive such unbelievably extreme conditions, heat, cold, zero water, is to curl up into a small ball called a ton, then dehydrate and survive in a state of suspended animation without the need for oxygen. Cool fact for you, in 2007, a tardigrade became the first animal to survive in a space-like vacuum subjected to ultraviolet radiation. So, Daiki, what's your research focusing on? Well, I'm hoping to find exact genes of the tardigrade's DNA that allows it to survive for so long with no water. If we can isolate those genes, we could one day transfer them into human organs to allow them to survive for a long time without water too. Genius. A huge benefit to medicine. Daiki, thanks so much for speaking to me. It's amazing research. Well, I try my hardest. Jane. If Dr. Harakawa's research is successful, the days of rushing donated organs across the country for transplants could be over. In fact, we may not have to wait for organs at all because we could store them ready for when you need one. Scientific research has the power to change the world and Daiki's work really could be a lifesaver.